news, Brad, with Sean Higgins. Are you still confident that he gets over the line? Yeah, as confident as we can be based on what we've seen so far. Um, he'll do a, a modified training session today, um, just in line with his rehabilitation from the surgery. So he's feeling very confident. But again, we've got some boxes to tick, but at this stage it all looks promising. Ben Jacobs, what's the, the latest there? Um, he is not far off in terms of, I think this week again will be a, a stretch because he's, he's not down to do um, much training today. He'll do a little bit inside and um, start to sort of ramp up his um, cardiovascular work. But um, yeah, I doubt he'd play this week, but we're, we're very optimistic about next week. But still really tracking along uh, positively and hasn't had any sort of setbacks or anything like that? No, no, I haven't. Again, we, we made that decision to back him right off until he fully recovered. And, um, you know, he's, he's getting closer to being completely symptom free, but, but not quite 100% um, just yet, but not too far away. So and we're confident that he'll be able to make a really quick return to play once those symptoms have cleared. What's been the theme of the week? Oh, well, no, not too much different for us, really, in terms of what we take out of the, the game in Brisbane. Um, we, we've had a, a really strong focus on, on recovering really well on the back of a, of a couple of um, interstate games, and the guys have done that really well. So they're in a, in a uh, mentally, I think, in a great frame of mind and, and ready to, to attack the next challenge, which is the Bulldogs on Sunday. It's good to get a couple of days on the Gold Coast to sort of get a bit of, I suppose, R&R &R, uh, ahead of the... the pretty vital three weeks? Yeah, it was a great opportunity. I mean, we, we just saw an opportunity to basically take our program up to the Gold Coast. I mean, we um, we played in hot conditions in, in Brisbane, which was a challenge for the two hours of the game. But the conditions were ideal in terms of, you know, a few days of you know, focused on physical recovery on the Gold Coast, but also, you know, did all our, our, um, our training up there and all our video reviews and our individual review sessions. So, that was a great change of stimulus and, and most importantly the players to a man feel like it was um, a, just a, a great opportunity and, and mentally and physically they're refreshed and ready to go. So the challenge for us now is to, to lock in again and, and have a really good session today. Pretty taxing 26 degrees. I know it doesn't sound much but on a day like today it does. A few of the players pretty taxed at the end of the game. Uh, the recovery gone well? Yeah it has, yeah. Oh, and that's the same for both sides so you know um, I'm sure Brisbane even though they, they, they're more used to the conditions than we are, they, um, you know, they were pretty spent at the end of the game as well. And I was actually pleased with the way we, we ran the game out. You know, Brisbane kept coming at us, but you know, physically we held up really well. And, and you now the players look, look in, in great spirits and physically the, all our markers are really positive. So you know, there's no doubt there's a mental aspect to it as well. We all know the, the stage of the season that we're in and at round 21, you know, everyone knows the stakes and, and is aware that you know, there's not too much of the regular season to go. So mentally they're, they're up and about and that generally trans, translates into a, a pretty good physical feeling as well. Have you allowed yourself to look too far ahead? Like has September been on the radar at all? Been no, we haven't spoken about it and, and it's been deliberate. I mean, it's, it's been tempting um, and, you know, we probably as a coaching group, we, we discuss all options in terms of what we think's best. But, you know, we keep coming back to the fact that you know, professional athletes need to focus on what's in front of them. And as soon as they start to look too far ahead, they, they take their eye off what's important right in that moment. So uh, I keep saying it every week, but it's true. You know, and while it's easy to let your mind wander, you know, our challenge is as soon as that mind starts wandering into what might happen in the future, to bring it back to what's right in front of us now. Not long since, I suppose, not long ago since you've actually played the dogs and it's come around pretty quickly again. Are they a different proposition this time around? Um, a little bit. I mean, I think they've they've shown they can play some really good footy. I mean, the last three quarters against St Kilda were evidence of that. Um, and a little bit's changed since the last time we played them. But I think they're a team that that backs their players in and backs their system, and they like to play their their system and 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 challenge the opposition to defend it. So that's that's probably what we're expecting. But there've been a, a few subtle differences, but largely, you know, they're still you know the similar challenge that we faced last time. I think Hugo said yesterday he wouldn't mind spoiling Dale Morris's party. A um, bit of extra spice in the game? Oh, well, I mean, I think there's a lot at stake in the game for everyone. Um, you know, the, the, probably in terms of our season, it's a bit different for us than it is the Bulldogs, but Dale Morris has just been a, you know, I think he'd be a legend of the Bulldogs uh, footy club. He's been you know, just a, an inspiration for so many young Bulldogs players and, and I'm sure he's a fan favourite as well. So. Yeah, we've got an enormous amount of respect for the way he plays his footy and the way he carries himself. So 
you know, be an important game for him and, and for the dogs, but, but clearly a very important game for us. How was Jared Wade pulled up after 10 weeks out? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, as well as, as uh, could be expected. Um, you know, Jared's, I've always said he's an incredible athlete and he, he just um, you know, slotted straight back in and did probably what we thought he was going to do uh, last week. He might play a bit more game time uh, this week, but um, no, he's like a spring chicken. He's, um, he's running around out there and, and, and feeling really good. And, and if anything, we have to hold him back because um, you know, with his history and with his age, we've just got to be smart about it. But if you ask him just how he feels, he's, um, he's ready to go now. Ben Brown, just the two goals over the last couple of weeks. Has there been anything the opposition have been doing effectively to, to, to I suppose, quieten him down? Um, different opposition, you know, have done different things. Uh, Harris Andrews did a good job on the weekend, and he's Harris has had a had a great year. Um, obviously, missed a chunk with that concussion, but um, but he's a he's a very good one-on-one -on -one defender. Um, you know, other teams throughout the year have tried to double team Brownie and, and sometimes triple team him, but. Um, you know, we've worked really hard on creating other avenues to goal. So, you know, Brownie's the first to say that, that if he gets more attention, it frees up someone else. So, you know, when we found that we've tried really hard to get Zeeble, Wood, Waite and Brownie into the same side, and it hasn't happened too often, um, but we were really pleased to get that combination back on the weekend. And Brownie didn't kick a big bag, but we still managed to kick a winning score and kicked over 100 points. Billy Hartung looking as though he could return this week. That, um I suppose not much time for him to sort of get back into the senior team uh, if you do make finals. Yeah, we, we think he'll he'll um, make a return this week, but he's again you know, the guys who are who are coming off you know great endurance bases like Billy's got, they tend to come to hand pretty quickly. So it'll just be a matter of performance now. Um, we, if he plays this week, then you know it'll be a matter of how how well he gets his best form back, whether he can get back into our side. But you know he certainly adds a, a different dimension to our team. Talk this week, Brad, in the wake of the Andrew Gaff incident of, of a send-off rule. Uh, any thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, I, I think that we've had probably, you know, maybe two or three incidents in the last decade or more that would warrant something like that. So that would suggest that that it's not not required. Um, I understand the hysteria around, you know, an, an incident like that, but yeah, I, I don't I don't think it's an issue that, um, you know, we need to put front and centre at the moment. I'm personally not a fan of it, but I mean, clearly, if these sort of things continue to happen, then it'll be inevitable that something like that comes in. But I doubt very much things like this will continue to happen.